Hi, I am Lalit Vasist. There are various ways like teleportation, wormholes and warp drive that can be used to travel at very high speed, even faster than the speed of light. Here in this video, I will discuss the concept of warp drive. The idea of warp drive is highly fascinating, which is based on distorting the fabric of space and time to achieve a speed many times more than that of the light. According to scientists, it is possible to travel faster than light with the help of Alcubierre warp drive. The Alcubierre warp drive was proposed by Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre and is based on a solution of Einstein's field equations in general relativity. But how is it possible and what are the requirements for warp drive? Since we know any object having mass cannot travel faster than the speed of light as it will go against the laws of physics. Since to achieve this speed infinite energy is required which is practically not possible. Then how it is possible with warp drive to travel faster than the speed of light? Actually in warp drive a spacecraft does not have to travel faster than light within a local reference frame. The spacecraft would traverse distances by contracting space in front of it and expanding the space behind it. This mechanism results in effective faster than light travel. In this way, the Alcubierre warp drive shifts the space around an object. So it's more like pulling the destination towards it while pushing its starting point back instead of actually traveling faster than light. This makes it possible for the object to reach to its destination faster than light would in normal space. Therefore, no laws of physics are broken. But now the basic problem is how to contract and expand the space-time fabric that is required for the warp drive. So let's discuss how this can be done. According to the great physicist Albert Einstein, any object having mass can create curvature in space-time fabric. In other words, it can contract the space. Larger the mass, more it can contract the space. But we need extremely large amount of mass equivalent to the mass of a black hole to contract the space so that it can be used in warp drive practically. So we need to construct an engine powerful enough to control a small black hole. This engine can be placed in the front part of the spacecraft so that the space in front of the spacecraft can be contracted. As I have discussed earlier that for warp drive we need to contract the space in front of the spacecraft and expand the space behind the spacecraft. Now we know that we can use very large mass to contract the space, but we do not know how to expand the space. But it is not impossible, as we know our universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. According to scientists, dark energy and dark matter are considered responsible for this expansion. So one possible method to expand the space is using dark energy or dark matter for warp drive. There is one more technique that we can use for the expansion of a space. As I just told you that a normal mass, that is positive mass, can be used to contract the space. It means if we could find a negative mass then it will do just opposite to it. So a negative mass would cause expansion of the space. We can use this system in the backside of the spacecraft that will help in expanding the space that is present behind the spacecraft and hence warp drive will become possible. There is one interesting theory known as dark fluid theory. The dark fluid theory combines the concept of dark matter, dark energy and negative mass. If we could find the dark fluid somehow, the warp drive would become a reality and traveling faster than light would not be impossible. So friends, how many of you think that warp drive is possible in future? 
Dear friends, if you liked the video and the concept of warp drive, then please like and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy so that you never miss my any video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.